Blink. Whatever you want to call it. It's getting late. I see what you did there. It's getting late, though. Uh, either way, uh, Shifty, who did you want to take a look at? Um, I'm going to hop on board with Melt. He had an absolutely phenomenal S&D, and uh, <laughs> Melt is running the MK14. So, oh God. let's see this. MK14 double smokes. It's obvious that they are not taking his WGG squad very seriously, which could come back to haunt him. Uh, however, Frame uh, hitting a team nade, so not really fighting their case very well. But uh, WGG actually able to get immediate control of the ball spawn uh, with about 30 seconds into the game. So, uh, And WGG on this not favorite side as well, too. I should mention that. So uh, great job from them so far as this game is just starting out. Modi with a huge two-piece, and Toons able to slam that two-point play in, making this an art really early 2-0 series for WGG, and a bunch of players going down from CR earlier really allowed that to happen, and I'm not sure which player he said was using a funny class, but definitely seeing WGG coming back from the two-map deficit that they have. Striker now going to be in charge of the drone, tries to throw it to his teammate, Melt, able to slam that two-point play in, now it's high game. Yeah, it was Mel actually running the MK14, and he started off 0 and 4. He is 0 and 4. So, however, he was able to get that uh, was able to get that um, ball score there. However, he has pulled out the ASM1, so fighting to get a little bit of purple control with his boy Striker is he now. However, Striker will drop to the ASM1 of Tunes. Now we've got Squid carrying the ball into this back blue area. Obviously, like we said, CR on the favored side due to that easy one point throw that can be made from the top rail. Uh, however, Squid going to be stuck without very much help, going to try for the throw, and it will connect. So, CR up 3-2, 320 left on this first side. Squid could have, could have actually gone for that one-point play a little bit earlier. He just had to jump on that top blue area, because uh, he didn't get any uh, stuns there from any of the WGG players. But nonetheless, he did get the one-point play in. Still on board with Attract, who is going to be taken out. So, three players do go down for CR. WGG in a position to take control of the drone and they finally do frame your your usual objective player heading towards the snow era is going to be throwing the drone for some yardage here and it is going to try and go for a reset but Toons kill, Toon kills that player and he unfortunately gets taken out as well now Melt trying to do something with it and finally does get the reset I think he threw himself off the map so good play there but <laughs> I think uh, I think it's CR that needs to be careful with um their drone possessions they're only in a one point lead but oh my goodness i just saw melt knife somebody that was modi but both teams need to uh, try and get more map control it just seems like they're just all over the place so far yeah really and truly that is the case wgg really doing a good job now of getting control of purple and to be honest the way that they're controlling purple and uh the middle area that uh, obviously that uh, biolab middle area really could allow them to run relays is frame going to try and throw it however going to get Blocked by the yellow building being dropped is uh, now attract and melt the duo here. Going to try and run this relay back. Going to try and wrap it. However, we've got two players from, from We Got Game in the uh, orange area now trying to cut that off. So, 3-2 still in favor of CR. I mean, neither team really having a chance to pull ahead. But to be honest, CR is not slaying out very well. So, I'm really surprised that WGG is not in the lead right now. I'm surprised as well, and Attract at least doing a good job of resetting the drone when all his players go down, and now both teams are trying to do like a more coordinated push, it seems, as now finally Squid, your usual objective player on the other team, is going to try and go for maybe a one-point play. It is looking like it's going... Oh, he actually missed. I said it's connect. I jinxed it. It got yikes. reset. But yikes, don't want to miss those throws, especially when it's a close game like this. About a minute, le a minute left. Yeah, as a track now going to be on top of Long Crane, waiting for his teammate to pick up the ball. That will be Squid. Track picking up one kill, going for the second. We'll be able to take him down as well. That was Modi. So Squid going for another one-point play. Uh, actually, I believe that was Striker. Striker able to toss that one in. Um, however, he did die from the sacrifice, uh, blowing <laughs> up the barrels. So. Attract is still up here on this top long crane. He's on a five kill streak right now, really doing a good job of continuing to slay out this WGG squad. As once again, Striker looking like he may be able to run a relay for a possible two point play. They will get it. So CR up 6 2 here, 30 seconds left on the first side. I don't want to jinx him, but Attract is absolutely not dying. Doing some dominant AR work around this drone spawn. Is trying to pick up his eighth kill. Finally does get cleaned up there. But now Melt is actually on a kill streak. I don't look doesn't look like he's able to clean that objective player up that was Toons who does get cleaned up by somebody else 
Squid getting the relay here, trying to go through this biolab. 15 seconds left. This is a 6 2 lead for his squad, so looking good on the first side. Goes for the one point play, is able to connect. 7 2 with about 5 seconds left, so on good side, they're able to put some good points on the board here. But let's see what WGG is going to be able to do now that they're going to be on the favorable spawn. Yeah, if you're a CR fan or a CR player here, the fact that they got a five point lead on good side is really a good thing. Um, and you know, obviously you're thinking, Shifty, well, duh, they have a lead. That's always a good thing, right? Well, when you're on the good side, you definitely want to get a cushion lead. You want to get, you know, five, six points, um, especially on a map like this, where when you're on the green side, you can just jump those one point plays or, or toss those one point plays in so quickly. So uh, five points, a very good cushion. Now, however, like you said, WGG on this favored side. I'd kind of like to see uh, how they will do this. I, I think it's going to boil down to map control, to be honest. You're right. Uh, WGG trying to get in a power position. That is purple. Toon's going to be your last player up. He's going to be joined by a teammate. So staying in this purple area and trying to control that biolab area would be a good idea for it to pull the drone. And it looks like a CR player tried to make something happen. He is going to be taken out. But now Sacrifice is going to be responding with a drone possession. Is he going to go for the one-point play or the two? He's trying to go for the melee. Just dodges that cowboy guy. Not sure who that was, but he finally does get cleaned up. And Umai Melt explodes a barrel, taking out Sacrifice. So three players going down for WGG. And Squid is going to be taking advantage of that. Trying to wrap it through this red area. Needs to crack the glass. Finally does. Goes on the roof area. Is he going to go for the two or the one? He's going for the two. Making this a 9-2 lead in favor of CR. Yeah, Melt, that was really set up by a fantastic two-piece there from Melt. There were a lot of players from WGG rotating back to try and stop the ball. However, Melt pulling out the bow on side. Esky's there and able to pick up two fantastic kills there. So now, like you said, CR <clears throat> having uh, carrying a pretty hefty lead now. Seven points even on the uh, bad side. So Modi uh, and Sacrifice trying to answer with that, though. Uh, frame picking up a third kill, a fourth now from Toons as uh, they have complete control of the opposite side. So uh, WGG really needs to be able to make some points out of this. Sacrifice now taking the ball into bottom blue. Uh, we really, really need to see them get some points. Obviously a seven point deficit, not where you want to be with three minutes left. You're right, and WGG trying to get control of this blue building, which is an important building to take control of if you want to put some bo some points on the board there. Now Frame is going to be in charge of the drone, tries to pass it to his teammate, and the green the green bridge kind of got in the way there. And he also stuns his teammate. I think that's Toons getting stunned there. Frame with a huge two-piece trying to help out his teammate, but I think he's waiting to go for the two-point play in, and he finally is able to connect. Now a 9-4 game with about three minutes left. WGG showing a little bit of life here as they finally put some... I think it's their first set of points on the second side. So, looking forward to seeing Frame do something. He's on a six kill streak. Sacrifice with a huge two piece to be able to allow something to happen here. And it looks like they're going for the two point play. Just needs to go around this blue box and he's able to connect now with a nine six lead. So, WGG, the comeback is real. Yeah, I saw somebody put in the chat. Oh, Athena answered it. We got, bo uh, we got game is what G uh, WGG stands for, by the way. So, fantastic. Uh, job from them trying to come back here nine to six squid trying to hold down this blue building with the rest of his squad melt picking up a kill on sacrifice now as it is a fight for the ball control frame going to stun and squid gonna try and pick up that kill however modi going to team nade him that's been the story of this game wgg has really team killed quite a bit especially we saw it in that hard point as well uh, so Squid going to go with the smart play, realizing that CR did not have control of the middle of the map. And 15 second respawn that ball. Uh, so now it's it's going to be a fight of it's going to be a fight over middle. Uh, CR still up three. So WGG really needs to get going now. Uh, minute and 40 seconds left. Not very much time left. They really need to pick up the pace. Trike's just been sitting in all these really great AR dominant spots. Before it was like that green bridge, and now he's sitting that black blue box just absolutely dominating allowing a track to get possession of the drone and throw it out for some yardage there is a teammate there it is going to be tunes but actually not a teammate it's actually the other team so you want to be careful when throwing it out for some yardage because that can obviously happen he's uh, kind of wrapping it on the wrong side it probably would have wrapped it towards the biolab area and not rotated back towards the spawn he probably could have just reset it if he wanted to do that but 
He's doing great. He's still alive. And he's got some teammates getting some kills. He is almost going for the two-point play. He is going to get shut down. That is a track. And he is going to get the relay going through this red area. He's got two teammates getting his cuts for him. He is going to go for the two-point play. Let's see if he can get it. And he is able to connect, making this an 11-6 game in favor of CR. Yeah, I think right there, that just kind of put it out of reach. I agree with your uh, your play call there. Should have maybe wrapped it through Biolab, went down ice, or, or wrapped it back around through the orange area and taken it through Eskies. But either way, um, you know, little mistakes like that can cost you games. And in close games like this, obviously a five-point lead for CR. If they were to just 15-second, um, it looks like they're trying to um, burn some time off right now as a track going to pick up some kills obviously it will be out of reach for wgg frame trying to pick up the last kill now everybody on cr just padding their stats a track 31 and 20 phenomenal game from him to be honest uh, wgg did a great job slaying as well it just boiled down to uh, the small plays and, and you know possibly the team kills from wgg obviously didn't help as well but cr hitting the third 3-0 of the night Really, really sad to watch, but I mean, at least the games weren't that terribly awful beside the search, so. Yeah, um, I definitely think that the problem with WGG is they just needed to hold more power positions and maybe, um, like you said, slay a lot better, but they had hosts in their power as well. And CR, you see two double negative people. I think it just came down to attract. Um, I think that was my key player on the CR squad. Always was sitting. Um, and just so many dominant spots to be able to. He had some pretty good kill streaks. I think he went on a seven kill streak earlier, and then was racking up a nice, I think a four kill streak earlier, just allowing all his objective players to do the work around him. Just like I said, WGG just needs to set up a little bit better, which is all what Uplink uh, comes down to. So CR picking up uh, the 3-0 on WGG, which wasn't uh, what we were expecting in our predictions. Not at all. Uh, CR, you're on line, King of the Hill, final qualifier champs heading to the big dance competing in august for some cash some prizes vip mes team pass some razor headsets mouse pads cash pa gear some honey badger congratulations cr